JJ and Mikey are having a huge argument about whether Coke or Pepsi is the best. I'm going to build a huge Coke statue to prove JJ is the king. Louis, you should know. Pepsi is way better than Coke. What's no way? Coke is the best. And I'm going to prove JJ completely right. Oh, no, Louis. I'm going to prove Mikey right. Oh, you're going to regret thinking that Pepsi is the best. You know what? I'm going to start on my Coca-Cola build right now. Oh, so will I. Oh, get ready to see the best build you've ever seen, Pip. You better not build this one out of dirt or else it's already going to lose. Oh, Louis, I'm turning around. I don't want to see your trash Coca-Cola build. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, wait until you turn back around because I'm using the Wand of Symmetry. I'm going to be able to build this whole thing in like three seconds. So let's get started. I'm going to get some black stained glass for the wall. This will be the outside of my Coca-Cola glass. And it's going to be really good. Then, for the Coca-Cola label, I'm going to need some red concrete. And also some white concrete for the text on the front. And honestly, I think that's all I'll need. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'll go here and get the octagonal mode. And I'll put it right down here. And now watch this, guys. If I place a block over here, it places blocks on all sides. So I can build this at the speed of light. So let's build this Coca-Cola glass up into the air. This is looking super cool. I need to make this look like a real Coca-Cola bottle. So I'll make sure that it curves inwards just like this. Just to give it a bit more texture. Oh yeah, Louis? Well, your Coke is going to look terrible compared to my Pepsi. Look how my Pepsi is looking. Pip, you haven't even built anything right now. You've just built like a curved line. Louis, slow and steady wins the race. And how have you already built such a massive thing? Oh, uh, I'm just really good at building. After all, I went to building school. Oh, Louis, I'm not making my Pepsi out of glass. I'm making it out of aluminum so it doesn't break easily. What? Well, this isn't a protecting Mikey and JJ challenge. We just need to make our builds look really good. And it seems like you've already chosen to make it more secure than good. Uh, no, Louis, I I'm still making it secure to make it a good base. All right, well, you keep doing that, Pip. After all, if you keep building your base like that, it's going to end up terrible. Look, you've spent so much time just building that curved line, and I'm almost done with my outside. Oh, Louis, at least I'm not cheating. I bet you're cheating over there. Um, no, I'm not cheating. What are you talking about? Um, uh, guys, I think the Wand of Symmetry is cheating, but don't tell Pip. Please don't comment down below, or else I'll get disqualified. But anyways, look at the shape we have right now. This is looking just like a Coca-Cola glass. But let's go ahead and make it curve back in to make it really look like a glass of Coca-Cola. I need it to go up like this and curve inwards slightly. If I just quickly fly away, let's see what this looks like. And yeah, this is definitely going to look awesome. Let me just curve this in more and more until we can get all the way up to the top of our bottle. This is gonna look amazing. Amazing, And I can't wait to see Pip's reaction when I absolutely destroy him with my amazing Coca-Cola build. There we go. Look at this. Now we have the bottle. That is the area where you drink all of your Coca-Cola from. But I just realized something. It needs a bottle cap. So let's go ahead and make one of those out of red concrete right now. And that doesn't really look like a good bottle cap. So let's give this a bit more detail. And let's make sure that it looks like it's holding on to the top of the bottle. That kind of looks like a really good good bottle cap. But I just realized how am I supposed to know that it's Coca-Cola? It doesn't even have a label. So let's start building a label for our Coca-Cola. Let's just build it all the way around all of this red glass like this. I'm going to build it going all the way down the middle in this little area here. And I'm going to surround it with white concrete so that it looks more prominent. That means it's just easier to see. There we go. Now let's go ahead and keep building up with all of this red concrete. It's looking awesome. Awesome! I've always wanted to live in a Coca-Cola house. But what about you, Pip? Oh, Louie, I've always wanted to live in a Pepsi house. It's just so amazing. Oh, Pip, we can just never agree. You want to live in a Pepsi house? But Pepsi tastes disgusting. Oh, no, it doesn't, Louie. If anything, Coca-Cola tastes disgusting. What? No way. The, the thing is, Pip, JJ wants to live in my Coca-Cola house. And JJ's a pro, just like me, so... So only pros drink Coca-Cola, it seems. Well, you and JJ only like Coke because they're 
there's red on it. Um, no, that's not true. It just tastes better, looks better, it just feels better. I could hold a Coca-Cola bottle a lot easier than I could hold a Pepsi can. I mean, Pepsi cans are cheaper, Louie. Yeah, but you get way less of a drink inside of a Pepsi can. That just makes it really sad to drink. Oh, Louie, Pepsi cans are way better than Coca-Cola glasses, because what if you drop it? A glass would just shatter. Yeah, it might shatter, but that's why you hold on to it. Whereas with a Pepsi can, if you drop it on the ground, it's all dirty and nasty, and you have to still drink from it. Well, Louie, it's hard for me to hold on to bottles with my feathers. Oh, well, that's a good point. You are a duck after all, but I'm pretty sure that cans are harder to hold on to. You know what? Never mind. Let's just keep building. Look at what we have so far. You've probably not built anything like this, Pip, or... <laughs> of course I have, Louie. Mm-hmm. Really? Well, what is this supposed to be, then? Uh, oh, this is the outline of my can. Okay, I mean, the outline is looking pretty good, but what is this gray stuff you're building? Well, Louie, this is going to be the bottom of the can. You know how when you look at the bottom of a Pepsi can, there's gray aluminum? Wait, not wrong. But wait, are you going to build this all the way throughout this entire thing? Well, of course, Louie. Why else wouldn't I? After all, if that's not there, the Pepsi would just fall out. Oh, really? Well, let me just go ahead and poke a hole in your Pepsi uh, can. <laughs> if you keep doing that, you're disqualified for cheating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you can't disqualify me. Uh, you know what? I'll just keep building, okay? Because you did that, expect me to get revenge. No! Oh, guys, this is really bad. You know what? Let's just keep building and let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyways, we have an entire Coca-Cola house ready to go. But now I need to write Coke on it to let people know that this really is Coca-Cola. So I'll put a C there. I'll put an O over here. I'll put a K right here. And then I'll put an E right here. But it's very difficult to make E's in Minecraft with three blocks. So let me go ahead and use some slime. Labs. That'll make it a little bit easier. Let me just get rid of this block and put an E there. And then I'll put another slab there and another slab there. Now it kind of looks like it says Coke, but it's very difficult to see. But I guess it'll have to do with all of the space that I had available. But now while Pip is busy dawdling with his aluminum can, I'm going to start building the inside of this Coke. And I think I want a really cool entrance. So I'm going to add some stairs and I'll make them out of quartz like this. Then I'll get some spruce stairs to outline the quartz stairs with. Let's make this entrance go all the way up to about here. And then it'll open up into this massive doorway here. So let me just connect up these staircases like this. And boom! Look at this, guys. We have a nice staircase. And I'm going to make sure that it's connected up and looks just fine. Because after all, JJ is going to be judging this too. He wants to make sure that he has the best Coca-Cola build. And that staircase should do just fine. But something looks wrong. It just doesn't look nice enough. So maybe I should add some decorations around, like these red leaves and some of these regular leaves. I'll place a ton of them just like this. And whoa, these red leaves are so amazing. They look really red and it really matches this Coca-Cola bottle. I think this is looking amazing so far. But I want to add some extra details, like these strip oak logs going around the staircase. This one will outline the entrance and make it way easier for Mikey and JJ to see. Just like that! Whoa! You know what? Now that I've done this entrance, I kind of also want to outline this thing with quartz. That will make it look so much better! So I'll get some smooth quartz blocks and go around this entire thing with white. This way, it'll be a lot easier to see from a distance, and your eyes will rest perfectly on the Coca-Cola bottle. Just look! If I fill all of this in, and then I come out around these leaves like this and follow it all the way around. Look how much cooler this thing looks from a distance. You know what? I'm going to make this look like a Coca-Cola modern house too. So on the outside, I'm going to use some of this space that I just made to make a little pool area. Let's just make sure this matches up perfectly. Oh, there we go. Like this and then like this. And now let's break all of these grass blocks just on the top right here and dig down a few blocks into the ground. This is where 
our modern Coca-Cola pool is going to be. And guys, you are going to love this thing. I've always wanted to live in a Coca-Cola house, especially one that looks just as cool as this one. But sadly, it probably goes for like a million dollars today. You couldn't buy a Coca-Cola house even if you wanted to. I would have to win one of those giveaways on one of those Coca-Cola bottles. Oh, Louie, you know Pepsi does way better giveaways than Coke. At Pepsi, I could win a trip to the movies. A trip to the movies? Coca-Cola does way cooler things you can win, like a million dollars or a private jet or things like that. Who needs that lame stuff? Pepsi gives away seeds. Seeds? Well, I don't know about you, but I guess that's pretty good for losers. Oh, Louie, at least I don't have loser in my name. <laughs> What do you mean, loser in my name? My name's Louie. Oh, Louie. You can't spell Louie without loser. Oh, <laughs> Pip, you know what? I will get revenge for what you said to me. But I guess for now, let's just keep building. After all, my build is looking way better than yours. Mine has a pool, and yours isn't even complete. Oh, Louie, no need to be jealous of my Pepsi can. That's the thing, Pip. I'm not jealous at all. This thing is looking really bad. Oh. Louis, just you wait. It'll look way better than your little glass thing. What, what is this over here? A pool? Man, there's no pools in Coke cans. <laughs> no, Pip, I'm not just building a Coke can. I'm building a really, really awesome Coke can. So this is the can that people would drink. And what I'm building around it is the prizes you could win if you drank Coca-Cola instead of Pepsi. Oh, Louis, are you going to fill up this pool with Coca-Cola? Um, no, I'm not going to fill up the pool with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. I'm going to fill it up with regular water because you could win a holiday to the Bahamas. Oh, Louie, I know something way better than water to fill up this pool. How about you just turn around real quick? Um, okay. I guess I'll trust you, but don't fill it up with Pepsi, okay? Oh, Louie, don't worry. It's not Pepsi. It's something even better. And turn around, Louie. All right, let me see. And uh, Pip, did you just fill up this swimming pool with pee? Oh, Louie, I really had to use the bathroom, so I just used the bathroom in your pool. Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't even set up my pool yet. Now I have to clean it all out from Pip's pee? I mean, you don't have to clean it, Louie. Oh, I'm cleaning it anyway. I don't want your pee in my swimming pool. That's just disgusting. JJ is going to hate this build now. Well, Louie, if you aren't going to have a pee pool at your house, I'll have one at my house. Oh my gosh. I need to stop giving you ideas. Oh, guys, this is so annoying. I have to clean out this entire pool because there's so much pee inside of it. I just wanted to fill it up with regular water. And now I have to do this. Ew. But it's fine. I guess I can now replace all of that pee with regular water. Let's just fill it all in like this. And boom, we have a bunch of water in our swimming pool. And now let's just break these blocks on the bottom, make them flow perfectly down into the bottom of our pool. Now we have a nice deep swimming pool that JJ can swim in. And maybe Mikey. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mikey likes water too. Hey, Louie, get away from Mikey. What are you doing to him? Uh, I'm just talking to Mikey and asking if they like swimming pools. Louie, are you trying to pay Mikey to drink Coke? Um, uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Louie, Mikey won't be here for long. When I make a bedroom, he's going to move in so you don't have to talk to Mikey ever again. Mm. Well, you'll never have to talk to JJ ever again because JJ doesn't want to associate with Pepsi drinkers. But why would I want to talk to a Coca-Cola drinker? Well, that's because JJ actually only drinks Coca-Cola. I'm pretty sure that I saw Mikey drinking some off-brand Coke last week. Oh, no, Louie. That wasn't Mikey. That might have been Michelangelo because that wasn't Mikey. Uh-huh, Michelangelo. Well, whatever, Pip. Just you wait until Mikey chooses my base. This is going to be so funny to see your reaction. Uh-huh. And why are JJ and Mikey checking out my bay? Uh, that's because you're right next to them. Let me just stand next to them, too, and, uh, Mikey, Mikey, wake up, Mikey. Look at me. No, there no, we Mikey, go. Mikey, over Perfect. here, Mikey. Oh, over here, Mikey. Me. Look at me. No, no, guys, guys, over here, you... <laughs> 
look at my Pepsi can. It's way better. I'm sorry, Pip. They just love me too much. They're looking directly at my face. Oh, no, Louis. They're only looking at your face because they're in shock at how ugly you are. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Look, if I fly up a tiny bit, it looks like they're looking at my Coke can because they are. They love it. Oh, Louis, if you flew up a tiny bit, they'd be looking at your butt. <laughs> You know what? I don't care. I'm going to keep building around this Coke can. What kind of prizes you could win? And you know what? Next, I'm going to do a spa. Because that's what else you can win if you go with Coca-Cola. I'm going to have to make so many cool things that Mikey can do in my base. I'm sorry to say this, Pip. There's nothing cool about Pepsi. It's just really sad that you can't build anything good. Oh, Louis, this is going to be the best build I've ever done. Oh, really? Well, let's see what your Pepsi can looks like. After all, you were taught how to build by Hero Brian, and Hero Brian's not a very good teacher, after all. Oh, Louis, you're just jealous of Hero Brian. Um, why would I be jealous of Hero Brian? I literally went to building school. I can build, and he just can't. Oh, Louis, you're probably Probably jealous of Hero Brian's beady eyes. Did you just say beady eyes? What is a beady eye? His beautiful eyes. His beautiful eyes? Pip, do you have a crush on Hero Brian? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Uh, oh my gosh, you're really crazy. But, anyways, guys, it's time for me to do my spa build. So, as you can see on the outside here, I'm going to put some magma blocks in the bottom of this pool. And this will work as a hot tub. If I just fill this up with water, look at all of those bubbles that come out of it. It looks like a really bubbly hot tub. Ah, this is amazing. But the spa is not complete without some deck chairs to sit on. So I'll put some around like this. And I'll put some here too. And then I'm also going to need some umbrellas. Because a spa is not complete without a cool umbrella you can sit underneath to get out of the sun. So let's do one right now. Here we go. I'll get some string. And I'll get some carpets. And what better colors to use than red and white. Like coconut. Coca-Cola colors. Then I'm going to go around this fence with a bunch of string. And then I'm going to add the carpets on top. And this makes a really cool looking umbrella. Awesome. Now I'll just go around it with these white stripes to make it really match the Coca-Cola look. Like that. I don't know about you guys, but I think this build is way better than Pip's right now. What do you think? I'll show you mine. And then I'll show you Pip's. Bruh. And I want you guys to comment Louie if my base is better. And I want you to comment Pip if Pip's base is better. But I really don't think that it is. Besides, JJ is an absolute legend for loving my build. And did you guys know JJ is part of the Louie Legends and subscribes to my channel? So you should too. Oh, Louie, no one wants to join the Louie Losers. Louie Losers? Well, Pip, it's a very good thing you don't have a channel yet. Or else I would be calling your subscribers the Pip Squeaks. Oh, Louie, don't call us a pip squeak. That's really mean. Well, I'm sorry, Pip. I didn't actually mean it, but you called me a loser, so I had to say something. Well, Louie, at least I meant my insult. Wait, what? So you meant it? Oh, you are so annoying sometimes, but it's fine. I'm just going to build a nice path going up to my Coca-Cola. You don't have anything like that. Look, there's no path going to your build at all. So the only way JJ and Mikey are going to see is that path right there. There, and it will lead them directly into my base. Oh, Louie, there will be an entrance. Just you wait, Louie loser. Oh, just stop calling me a Louie loser. And just start working on your build. <laughs> I call you a Louie loser to manifest a Pip win. No, you're not going to win. Trust me on that, Pip. I am going to destroy you in this build challenge. And I'm pretty sure that Mikey and JJ can already see I'm destroying you based on how good my build is compared to yours. Oh, Louie, my Pepsi logo looks way better than your Coke logo. Um, really? I mean, it's a little circle with a white line through it, while my Coke literally says what it is, Coke. Well, yeah, Louie, but mine says Pepsi! Um, Pip, that's the thing. Coca-Cola tells you exactly what you're drinking. Coke! But Pepsi? What is Pepsi? It's just off-brand cola, right? No, Louie, you're drinking Pepsi! It's its own thing, with its own secret formula! Oh, it has its its own secret formula, but it still tastes like trash. I don't know how that works, you know. Oh, Louie, how would you know what trash tastes like? Because I drank Pepsi once, that's why. And it was trash! <laughs> oh, Louie. 
Louie's probably eaten out of the garbage can. All right, but anyways, guys, I've completed the outside of my Pepsi build for now, but I'm going to start working on the inside. I want this to look really cool. So I'm going to build with these spruce planks so that from the outside, so it kind of looks like Coca-Cola on the inside of the glass bottle. So let's just build in a nice floor like this. I'm going to make sure that I fill up this entire thing so that I can add some really, really cool things on the inside. And first of all, I want to make sure there is a kitchen that I can have a bunch of Coca-Cola inside JJ to drink. Let's just build up a little area on the inside. Then I can start adding all of my kitchen utensils like an oven and, and also a brewing stand to make some Coca-Cola beverages. And there we go. I have the first floor of my Coca-Cola build and now it's time to add kitchen. So I think I'll add it right about here. This is where the kitchen table will go where JJ can grab whatever he wants. I'll make it out of quartz blocks like that. But now I'm going to grab a flower pot like this and put it right here. That kind of looks like a cup that you can drink out of. Look at that! And it even has Coca-Cola inside. I'll just do two of those like this and a brewing stand in the middle. Just like that. That is where you can pour all of your Coca-Cola. And I'll place a quartz block on top. That is where you can pour it from. If I just get a tripwire hook like this, kind of looks like one of those things that the drinks pour from. Like a soda machine. But now I need an area that JJ can do all of his cooking. So I'm going to do another area over here with the same kind of blocks. I'm going to remove this roof area area though and add another quartz table like that. Now I need to get an oven like this. I'll put a white modern oven in the middle here and now I'm going to grab some andesite and this is going to be where all of the steam will go when I'm finished cooking. Look at that. Doesn't that just look amazing? When JJ is finished cooking, that's where all of the steam from the inside of the oven will go. It will go into this machine and out through the back of the Coca-Cola bottle so that the inside doesn't go all wet and moldy. But now that I've done that side, it's time to do the other side over here. And this is where JJ's microwave is going to be and all of that other cool stuff. So I'll do another table here. I'm going to grab a microwave like this. Let me just place it right there. That looks pretty good. And, and one thing that I am forgetting is a toaster because how is JJ going to make his toast in the morning so he can have a bunch of really cool breakfasts like bacon on toast. Have you guys ever had that? It's amazing. But now that is done. I need to make sure that there is a fridge because at the end of the day, how is JJ going to keep his Coca-Cola nice and cold? So let's just break a hole in the middle here and let's add one of these really cool fridges. I think I'll add this black one like this. It looks really cool and you can open up the bottom and the top. Now this kitchen is really coming together, but what is a kitchen without a table you can eat at? So I'm going to add a table right in the middle of this thing and it's going to be huge. And it's also going to have some seats that JJ and Mikey can sit at. And you know what? I'll get some yellow too for Pip. Let's just put some red seats in this area here. Some green seats right there. And I'll put some yellow seats on the other side. This way, me, JJ, Mikey, and Pip can all sit at the table and drink some Coca-Cola. But now that I've done with this floor, I'm going to start building the next floor of this Coca-Cola base. And what better to build than the bedroom right here? There is a little bit less glass around here, so it gives JJ and Mikey enough privacy to sleep. I think I'll build it one block upwards though, so that no one could spy in through these glass blocks on the bottom. Let's just remove all of this and build up a floor for the next area, just a little bit higher up. There we go. I'll once again fill this in with spruce wood planks, so it looks like it's filled with Coca-Cola. I wonder what this looks like from the outside. Let me check after I'm finished. Here we go. I'm filling this in, and boom. Let's go take a look at what this looks like on the outside. And whoa, this is so cool looking. I bet Pip hasn't built anything inside of that Pepsi can just yet. Look, he's still building. What? Pip, I thought your motto was it's what's on the inside that counts. So why are you building the outside still? Well, Louis, I'm going to prove to you it's what's on the inside that counts. Because... I'm going to make my outside extremely good. I think that's the wrong way around, Pip. I think you're showing me it's what's on the outside that counts right now. Are you the real 
Pip. Did somebody kidnap you? Uh, I think I'm the real Pip. Last time I checked. Oh, yeah. Wait, you can't check. After all, you just come from the Pip factory. Every time you die, they send me a new one of you, by the way. Well, Louis, I don't think I'm going to die in this build challenge, so I think I'll be fine. Y you know what? I've got an idea on how I can make you malfunction. Wait a second. All right, Pip, I want you to do a simple math question for me, okay? I love math. All right, just come down here really quickly. Okay, what is zero divided by zero? Um, carry the one. Isn't that... 16? No, Pip, you're not thinking about the question. What is zero divided by zero? Wait, so zero divided by zero. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, he just died? What? Oh no, Pip's dead. Hello, I am the new Pip from the Wait. Pip Factory. Oh, they sent me another one. Are you kidding me? Oh, Louie, you know you shouldn't be making me malfunction like that. Oh, I know. I just wanted to see if you could do zero divided by zero. After all, it's an impossible maths question. Oh, Louie, just take my head for killing me. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I will. I, I guess I'll take it. Anyways, so what was I building? Oh, yeah, Pepsi. Wait, you forgot what you were building? That just shows your loyalty to Pepsi. Coca-Cola's way better! But guys, what I'm going to do is build down some glass like this so that I could put some ladders on. This way, I could go up to my next floor inside of my Coca-Cola base. Just like this. I think this looks pretty cool. But now I think I'm going to add a bedroom on the inside here. This is where JJ and Mikey will be able to sleep inside of this Coke glass. Here we go. I have a little door right Right here, leading into the main bedroom. But what should I put in here? Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to get some quartz blocks and build them up into the air like this. This is going to be a shell where JJ and Mikey can keep their belongings. To do this, though, I'm going to get a quartz slab and I'm going to build it up something like this. Now they have two shelves they can keep things on. And I already know what JJ and Mikey love. I'm going to give them some plushies. I'm going to give JJ these red plushies and Mikey these cute little creeper plushies. It's so cute! But now, in all of the empty space around this shelf, I'm going to add some bookshelves too. This way, JJ can read all he wants. And it looks really awesome. Now, I'm going to break a hole in this glass. This is where one of the beds is going to go. So I'm going to add a little headboard on the end. This is so that you don't fall off the bed while you're sleeping and uh, hurt your head. So now, let me go ahead and grab a bed. And this one is going to be JJ's so I'll make it red. And then on the other side, I'll build Mikey's bed. I need to make sure that it's three blocks high, just like the other side. And there we go. Now I need some lime-colored beds. This is for Mikey to sleep in. And boom, we have a bed for Mikey and a bed for JJ. They are going to love this space, guys. Like if you agree. But now all that I need is a nice sofa on the inside of this room. This is where JJ and Mikey can go ahead and watch their favorite TV shows. Let me just hang a TV screen up on the wall and turn it on. Look, I seem to be watching uh, the Glitch channel. Oh, never mind. It's not working. Oh, wait, never mind. It is now. It's on the farming channel. But that should be just good enough for JJ and Mikey. Let's go ahead and build another room on the top. I think this is going to be the observatory room where they can look at the stars during the night. And look, they can see all the way around this build challenge arena and into the forest in the distance. Oh, but they can also see Pip's disgust Pepsi base. Oh, I don't know what I think about this, guys. That Pepsi base is kind of ruining the view from my Coke build. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and troll Pip once I'm finished with this upstairs room. And there we go. I've added the floor for this observatory room, but now I think I'm going to go troll that base. Let me just get an invisibility potion. Now I can get over there without being spotted. Boom! All right, let's get out of here really quickly. Go and mess with Pip's base. Think I want to mess with Pip's base really, really good. And what better way to do that than make that Pepsi look like a Coke can? So let me go ahead and do a little bit of editing. Let's just get some of these letters on the front like this and change it to look like it's saying Coke. So I'll just do this and I'll change this to look like a K like that. And then I'll remove some of these letters like this and then I'll get rid of that. I guess I can leave the Pepsi logo because now 
now it says Coke on it. But now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use a command. Watch this. This is a blue Pepsi can, right? But if I use this command, I can change it to red. Now it looks like a Coke can. Wait, what? What just happened? Uh, why does it say Coke backwards? Guys, Pip is looking really, really confused right now. They just realized that base is Coke now. What? I don't remember making a Coke can. Why would I make such a disgusting beverage? Oh, Louie, does this have something to do with you? Where are oh. you? Uh oh, guys, I need to pretend that I've been in my base this whole time. Let me just go into the pool and remove my invisibility. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, Pip, what are you doing to my base, Pip? I've been in my pool this oh. whole time. Louie, I need to have a word with you. Oh, what do you need to say? Just say it already. Oh, Louie, you remember my can being Pepsi, right? Um, I think so. Uh-huh. Then why, out of nowhere, is it a Coke can? Well, maybe you've been building on autopilot and your brain suddenly realized that Coke is better. So just made it red. No, Louie, that doesn't make any sense. I was building Pepsi. Well, it seems like it's Coke now. I, I bet you should just leave it like that. It would just look way better. No, Louie, there's absolutely no reason for me to be making Coke. Guys, Pip has no idea that I've trolled him completely. It's going to take him ages to change this thing back. Look, he already started. Anyways, guys, let's get back to building my base. So on the inside, I have this room and I need a ladder that goes up to the next one. So I'll put it right here next to JJ's bed. Now, if I go up to the next floor, we have this observatory room and wait a second, what? How did Pip just rebuild that? A couple more blocks and Louie, I've made it better. What? How did you do that so fast? Oh, this is ridiculous. You changed it back to blue and put Pepsi back on the can. Are you kidding me? Well, Louie, when I see Coke in front of my face, I work very fast. Oh, I see. I bet the reason you can build so fast, though, is because you drank Coca-Cola. No, Louie, I've already drank 10 cans of Pepsi today. 10 cans of Pepsi? I don't think that's very healthy for you. You're going to need to brush your teeth, you know. Uh, brush my teeth? Uh, what does that mean? Oh, oh, I forgot. Ducks don't have teeth. Um, well, you could brush your beak, I guess. Oh, I can't lick my beak. Uh, can you lick it for me, Louie? Uh, no, I'm not licking your beak. Get away from me. Well, Louie, you're lost. My beak tastes like Pepsi. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll pass on that. I don't want to drink the Pepsi coming from your beak. But anyways, look at this observatory room. Now I just need to add some really cool things in here. And what better to add to an observatory room than some telescopes? I'll add them facing out of the windows like this on all of the sides. This way you can zoom into everything around. I'll put them all right here. And then on the top, I think I'll add some fake stars. So I'll grab some glowstone like this and I'll dot them around the roof just like this. This way they look like stars in the sky. And this observatory room looks even cooler. Look at that. Well, there we go. We have an amazing observatory room. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of these spruce logs and make them go into the telescopes like this. So they look a little bit better. And you know exactly where you have to stand. They're like little paths going through this room. And also, the best part is it goes in a hashtag shape. And if you think this base is awesome, put hashtag base is awesome in the comments. Thank you very much. But now that I'm done with this observatory room and this bedroom and this kitchen down here, I guess it's time for me to add a storage room to this base. And where better to put it than right down here on the bottom floor. I'll go ahead and grab some quartz blocks and replace all of this grass with a bunch of quartz. Now down here, I can put all of the chests full of all of the valuables. And you know what? Since this is a Coca-Cola base, the valuables inside is going to be a bunch of cola. I'll just fill in all of this with quartz very quickly so that I can start on putting some chests on the inside. I think I'll put like a million Coca-Cola cans in here. This way, JJ will have a lifetime supply and love my base. Here we go. The floor is now completed. Now, I just have to get some chests like this and place a ton of them down. I'll put a few on every single wall like this. Just 
us in this round shape. Boom, 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 and boom. And then I'll put some on this wall and this wall. This is some crazy storage. I'm also going to get some barrels too, because they work as storage that you can open up on the roof too. Whereas with chests, you can't open them when the block on top is there. So I'll put some barrels in all of the empty space like this. This is really looking like an awesome storage room, guys. Just look at that. Now it's time to get some creeper cola. This is the Minecraft version of Coca-Cola. And I'm going to fill up all of these chests with a ton of it. Doesn't this just look amazing? I'll also put a ton of it on the floor like this. So it looks like it's spilling out of the chests. And now I'll replace all of these chests with these ones with the creeper cola inside. Now I have a ton of creeper cola in my storage. And this Coca-Cola base is really coming along. Now I just have to fill up all these barrels too. So let me replace all of these barrels on the wall with the ones filled with the cola. And this is amazing. I'm so proud of this build. There is no way that JJ rates this a low score. Because now I have the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola storage. And this Coca-Cola base is nearing its completion. And done. And now the outside of my Pepsi can is complete. But now let's go on the inside. And oh, this is a lot of ground to cover. But let's start on Mikey's bedroom. Let's just put some dirt all the way over here. Put a little up. And let's build up the dirt wall. Put a little dirt roof over him. And then we're going to put Mikey's bed right down here. And Mikey loves TV. So we should put an antique TV right in the corner. Now, close off his bedroom. Let's put a little door right here. Get some glass. And now, his bedroom is complete. But, uh, this is going to take forever. Oh my goodness. Louie, do you think you can help me? Wait, what? What do you mean, help you? Um, I guess I could. But you have to admit that Coca-Cola is better first. Uh, okay, Louie. You're right. Pepsi is way better than Coke. What the oh my gosh. You know what, Pip? I'll help you. But only because I know that your Pepsi build is terrible. And JJ and Mikey will hate it. Well, Louie, you're right. It's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. All right, come on. Let's go build some stuff on the inside of your Pepsi can. I'll help you just this once, okay? Please, Louie. I'd really appreciate it. All right. So, what do you want on the inside? I could build it really fast. Oh, Louie. I want this to be an epic house with everything and uh, everything you did in your house. But everything I did in my house? You know what? That's just copying at this point. No, it's not, Louie. It wouldn't be copying because your house doesn't have a dirt bedroom. All right. Whatever. You know what? I can help help you out here. Just let me get some wood and some oak planks. Look at this, okay? I'm going to build you a bathroom because I know you love those. So let's just build an area like this with some oak planks in front of it. You know what? No. We need to make it look different to the floor. So let's do some spruce planks. Oh, Louis, this looks good. Now, how about you finish the rest of this house while I go home? What? Pip, I'm not building your build. I don't like Pepsi. Oh, fine, Louis. I'll stay. All right. Let's Let's put a door in the middle of this thing. And let's go ahead and make it extend all the way to the back of this room. Now, because this is a bathroom, let's put a modern toilet on the inside. And how about you do the rest of this bathroom and show me how it's done? After all, you love these things. Oh, you're right, Louis. But just one second. I think I looked at your coke house for a bit too long. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, Louis, I'm good. Oh, that Coke house was disgusting. Oh, your Pepsi house is disgusting. It makes me want to throw up too. No, it doesn't, Louis. But anyways, we need to make this bathroom amazing. And I'm great at making bathrooms. So first, let's go ahead and put the bathtub above the toilet. What? Why would you do that? Because, Louis, this is not your normal house. Since this is a Pepsi can, you have these weird blocks. And these blocks you have to build on. So let's just go ahead and put a bath up here. Pip, you are very, very strange, but I, I guess it'll work. Yep, Louie. We have to make use of every single space we have. So with this block right here, let's go ahead and put a shower. But Pip, it'll just run down this block and flood your base. Oh, Louie, it'll be okay. All right, what are you going to put next, Pip? Well, I'm going to put a drain just so that water doesn't get on the ground. <laughs> Wait, did you just put a drain?
rain underneath the shower. This is the ugliest rain I've seen in my life. What, Louis? This doesn't look like you. What if my toe slips down and then I fall over? My toe will break off. Well, Louis, it's a small price to pay to not be ugly. Uh, okay. But, Pip, what if someone looks for this tiny little gap in the bathroom? Look, you can pretend that you're showering, and then I'll go over here and look. I can see you through this tiny gap. Well, Louis, no need to be jealous. Hey, I I'm not jealous. Oh, but anyways, I, I think that's enough for your bathroom. I guess let's not put a mirror down because I know what you're going to do with it. A mirror? What's wrong with a mirror, Louis? And oh, no. Wait oh, a no. second. Who's that Louis guy in the mirror? What? Hey, no, don't Mwah. squeeze me in the mirror. Mwah. No. Mwah. Oh, guys. Where did he go? I'm leaving. I'm going all the way over here and I'm just going to stand right here until you get out of that bathroom. All right, Louis, just stand there for a couple hours because I'm going to be here for a minute. Oh, no. Three hours later. Oh, and I'm all done. That Ew. was such a great time in the bathroom. I was stood here for like three hours waiting for you to get out. How long were you kissing yourself in the mirror? Well, Louis, it's my favorite room in the house for a reason. Oh, no. You know what, Pip? Let's just keep building this Pepsi can. After all, we need JJ and Mikey to rate them. Oh, you're right, Louie. We've been in here for three hours. We're probably running low on time. Of course we are. We have, like, maybe, like, five minutes left. So we have to build. I, I want a kitchen. Let's build a kitchen. Oh, all right, Louie. Well, we really need a kitchen. So let's build a kitchen. All right, let's build one right now. Let's make this one extra long as well. Here's the kitchen table. I'll just build that right here. And let me also get some quartz blocks, too. Because they look really cool. Actually, no. Let's use this smooth stone. Let's replace that so we have a nice table like this. All right. Now, on the inside, let's get some kitchen tiles and put them right about here. This is where you will stand whilst you're cooking your meals. Do you like this kitchen, Pip? Oh, Louie, it looks really good. All right. But I'll let you take the reins on what you want to add to it. I've done the shape and filled up this room. Now, go ahead and add some cool things. Oh, Louie, this is going to be such a cool kitchen. I can already see it now. So I'm going to first put my counter sink and then put some counters all around. Okay, and then... that looks cool and all, but what do you think JJ and Mikey will think of this? You could put some red kitchen counters or some green ones. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let's go ahead and go to the counters and let's put some yellow counters all around. Yellow? That's not even red or green. JJ and Mikey are going to hate it. Oh, Louie, yellow is better than red and green. Um, we'll see about that. And then it's not a kitchen without my appliances. So let's go ahead and put a stove right here. Put a refrigerator right here. And now let's go ahead and put our microwave so we can make popcorn and watch movies. And one last thing. Just put a toaster right here. And now my kitchen is basically complete, Louis. Awesome, Pip. This is awesome. You can also open and close the oven. This is cool. Yep, Louis. So I can put you inside of it. Uh, did you just say put me inside of it? Uh, no, no, no. I'm no. not letting you do that. No, Louis. I said put me inside of it. Well, I don't know about that, Pip. You? I swear you just said you'll put me inside of it. But uh, whatever. Look, this looks really cool. We have the bathroom and the main bedroom. We have this kitchen. And what else should we add? Oh, Louis. There's so many things we could add. First of all, we haven't added our own living room. Wait, that's a good point. How about we add it right now? Yep, Louis. And we should put it right across from the kitchen. So if we're watching movies, you can just go ahead to the kitchen and pop some popcorn. All right. We could also have some pop tarts. But look at this, Pip. I'm going to do a very quick command. Like, like this. And now we have a checkered floor. Wait, Louis, this looks so good. Yep, and we can add our TV. We can add everything in the living room right here. Oh, Louis, I'm going to put the biggest TV ever right here. That's the tiniest TV I've ever seen. But I guess it's your base, so you can do whatever you want. Yep, Louis, let me just figure out how to turn this thing on. Pip, I don't know. It's so old, I don't think it can turn on. 
that. Well, okay. I do have another TV. Surely this will work. Yeah, look. That one has a channel on it. Oh, but this channel's boring. This is the library channel. Yeah, I guess JJ would like this channel, but if you want this to look good for Mikey, you're going to have to try a lot harder. All right, Louis. Well, I'm just going to put my favorite TV down. CCTV. CCTV. That's a camera. Uh, you know what? I guess it's fine. You just show that to JJ and Mikey and tell them you're spying on them. Then they will love your base totally. Yep, Louis. I'm sure Mikey would love to know that I'm making sure he is secure. Yeah, that... I don't know about that. If someone was watching me on a camera all the time, I'd be very scared. But it's fine. Look, I'll add a green sofa so that Mikey can stare directly into the CCTV camera. Yep, Louie. And I'll tell him to make sure to smile for the camera. That is very weird. All right, Pip. So I've helped you out a ton with this inside. But I want you to build something in that big space over there that will absolutely blow my socks off. If you could surprise me, then I guess I'll admit that Pepsi is better, okay? Oh, Louie, this is about to be so easy. All right, I'll head out and I'll go chill in my hot tub and come out and tell me when you're done. All right, and this is such a massive area that I need to build something huge. And I know exactly what to build. Can you guess below in the comments what I'm going to build? I'll give you five seconds. Kidding, I'm building an aquarium. All right, and we need to make sure our aquarium is secure. So we need to put glass all around because we don't want our water are seeping out of the aquarium. So let's just go ahead and build a glass roof all around. And inside of this aquarium, we can put so many things. We can put fish, we can put sharks, put Louie. <laughs> but Louie said I need to surprise him to blow his socks off. So what would surprise him the most? Wait, I know. Maybe if I put a bunch of drowns in it. Louie hates drowns and he would be so scared and his socks would just fly off. Off. So let's just go ahead and finish off all the glass around the aquarium so we can put water inside. And drowns love water. Just a few more glass blocks and we are finished. Now it is going to take a while to put water in here. There is so much space. But if we use gravity, we don't have to put that much water. Let's just go ahead and put water all on these roof blocks. And now the water just flows down. So let's just finish putting water all on the roof and this aquarium is going to be absolutely insane guys if you were in my shoes guys and you need to blow louis socks off what would you put inside of your aquarium comment down below but we are almost done putting water all around this roof i'm really good at making aquariums i was born a duck and ducks are basically aquarium pets and now i think we're done with our aquarium all right now that my aquarium is complete let's go ahead and put our drowns in here and we're gonna put so many drowns this is going to scare louie and i'm sure mikey would love the drowns because mikey hates drowns so he would love to see them locked up and unable to kill mikey and now that i've got all my drowns placed down i know the perfect thing louie doesn't know this but there is a mutant louie in minecraft and if i put this down a giant louie appears and he's floating to the top oh this is so funny but I need Louie to see the giant Louie first thing. So let's go ahead and make a cage for the giant Louie. All right, and I'm trying to make this cage, but maybe I shouldn't have put the drowns down first because they keep getting in my way. Come on, get out of my cage. And now let's just finish this off. And we need to make a roof just so the Louie doesn't flow away. And perfect. Let's just go ahead and spawn the mutant Louie. And now it's the first thing you see when you walk in. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. But I think my aquarium is finished. Now it's time to show Louie his ugly cousin and the aquarium. Hey, Louie, I'm all done. Come to my base. Oh my gosh, you took ages. What were you doing in there? Oh, you'll see, Louie. Let me just step away and <laughs> come on in. All right, so we are going to look at your base and then we are going to look at my base and then we'll rate whose base is the best at the end. What do you think about that? Oh, Louie, do I even need to look at your face? I can already tell it's trash. What, what do you mean trash? It looks awesome. Let's not get sidetracked. Let's go inside of your base and take a look. Let's do it, Louie. You're going to be so impressed.
best. All right, so wait a second. I is that my cousin? Uh, yeah, Louis. I had put him in my aquarium because I didn't have any room for him. Why did you put him in there? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, Louis, you can join him if you want. Just step on in. Oh, you know what? I need to talk to him. Really? Really? What did they do to you? Oh, they put me inside of a cage and now I'm sad. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be sad. Turn around. Be happy. Come on. They put me in all these drowns and now I'm scared. I can't do anything. Uh, let me out. Let me out. All right, Rui. I'm letting you out. I'm making a big hole right now. Come on. Get out of there. Get out. Oh, no, Louie. You're not freeing your cousin. You're actually a part of the aquarium exhibit. Bib, stop placing down blocks. Let him out. Let him out. He's scared. Get out of there, Rui. Why should we let him out, Louie? Because, look, he's just so innocent. And now he's crying in the corner. <laughs> you, you did this to me. I'm gonna get my revenge. No. Wait, what's Rui doing? He's looking at the security camera. And wait, where's he going? Oh, you know what? I actually like this cage. I'm going back inside. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can stay in there, Rui or Rui or whatever your name is. Actually, Just... actually, I, I don't want to stay inside. What? I'm going to get rid of this camera. I don't like it. And you know what? what? I'm going to blow up your toilet. I need no. to break the wall to get through first. No, that's my toilet. Oh, uh, it's mine now, loser. No. no! <laughs> This is why you belong in the cage. Well, you know what? I feel bad. I broke your entire base. You know what? I'm leaving. Ah! Uh, at least break Louis' base, too. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going home. Oh, Louis, your dumb cousin just ruined my base. Oh, what do you mean, cousin? I don't know who he is. I didn't pay him to do anything. Uh-huh. Then who was that in my cage? Okay, fine. That was my cousin, and I may have paid him to uh, rough up your base a little bit. Oh, that sounds like cheating to me, Louis. I think you should be disqualified. What the? No, that's not cheating. After all, I didn't destroy your base. It was my cousin, not me. Yeah, but he looked exactly like you. Well, a bit more muscular, but basically exactly like you. Well, that wasn't me. It may have been one of my family members, but it wasn't me who destroyed it. So I'm not disqualified here. But I see you made an aquarium here and filled it with drowns, but that's not very scary. I've killed a ton of drowns in my time. Well, it was apparently really scary to your cousin as he broke out and ran away. Yeah, whilst destroying your base. <laughs> oh, Louis, you should have heard him. He said he was destroying my toilet. Um, yeah, he really did look like he destroyed it there. And he broke my mirror. No! Oh, it's fine, Pip. Chill out. Listen, let's get your mind off of this base by looking at mine. I don't want to, but it's the only way, Louis. Let's do it. All right, I have to admit, your Pepsi base was okay, but I'm only going to rate it once we've finished going through mine. Well, Louis, I already know you're going to rate it 10 out of 10, so let's just go ahead and check out your base. Yeah, right. Follow me. So as you can see right on the entrance, we have my swimming pool where you can take some bird baths and Mikey can go and swim around. Oh, Louis, is this water or... Or is this fake water to make me die? It's real water! Hop in! Let me just test this real quick. And cannonball! <gasps> Wait, it's real water! I'm taking a bird bath! I don't know about you, Pip, but you seem to be uh, enjoying my Coca-Cola build. Uh, no, Louis. I'm not enjoying the Coca-Cola. I just happen to be enjoying a pool next to the Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. Well, if you enjoyed that pool, you are going to love this hot tub! Oh, Louis, let me jump off this umbrella. Umbrella. Go ahead, Get Pip. Oh, wow. Oh, I missed. Um, you should have really jumped straight into it rather than right off the top into the bushes. Oh, Louis, this is why I don't do cannonballs. Oh, it's fine, Pip. Don't worry. You can always try out this later. But come on inside. Let me show you everything in my Coca-Cola build. Oh, let's see. Is this like a Coca-Cola museum? No, this is not a Coca-Cola museum. This is JJ and Mikey's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola base. And look in here. We have a kitchen 
filled with an oven. We have an extractor fan to make sure no steam stays in the base. We also have this brewing stand with some cups of Coca-Cola. Whoa, wait, how did you get these cups of Coca-Cola, Louie? Well, I'm just very good at making things look like things in Minecraft. Trust me, it looks amazing when you know how to use the blocks. Yeah, right, Louie. Let's just get rid of these. <laughs> What's next? All right, well, we have this fridge, this microwave, and this toaster. And as you can see, I can make the toast pop out and in. Wait, the toast is having a dance party. Oh, yeah. Okay, Louie, that's enough toaster. All right, fine, Pip. You're just ruining my base. Whatever, it's still better than yours. Um, let's see what else I can show you. Um, do you want to see the Coca-Cola first or last? I want to see the Coca-Cola now, Louie, so I can rate your base a zero out of ten. What? Uh, you know what? Let me just show you. Come down here. This is the Coca-Cola storage room. Wait, Louie, how do you have so much coke? Um, well, Pip, it's a long story involving delivery trucks and borders, but it'll be fine. Just look! There's so much in these chests. Whoa, you have chests full of cola? Oh, whenever I go to the supermarket, I can only find one Pepsi. I know, because Coca-Cola is such a big company that they can sell tons of it, whereas Pepsi is like a little baby company that has nothing. Oh, they're not a little company, just uh, I don't know why they don't sell very much. Yep, anyways, follow me. That was the Coca-Cola room, and now it's time for me to show you JJ and Mikey's rooms. Just up here. Oh, let's see it, Louie. Welcome to JJ and Mikey's room. What do you think, Pip? Wait, Louie, why did you make a bed for Mikey? Mikey isn't staying here. Oh, we'll see about that, because they are going to choose their favorite base the end. Oh, all right, Louie, and what is this on the shelf? Well, these are plushies. I have some red ones for JJ and some green ones for Mikey, so they will both absolutely love this base. Oh, and I see you put more green ones. Does that mean you like Mikey more? No, it just means I need Mikey to like this base more, so I put more green to make him like it. Oh, Louie, I know Mikey very well. I don't think he'd like this base. Remember, he likes Pepsi more than Coke. Uh-huh, sure thing. But whatever, Pip, follow me. I have one more thing to show you. Oh, let's see it, Louie. I bet it's not that cool. This is the observatory room where we can watch the stars at night. Well, Louie, this is really cool. But how did you come up with this? This is so interesting. Uh, well, I came up with it on a whim. I was stood here and then I was like, hmm, I want to look at the stars. So I put a bunch of telescopes down and look, I put some star decorations at the top. Wait, Louie, I'm trying to look outside and where are the stars? But Pip, it's not nighttime yet. Of course there's no stars. Oh, are the stars sleeping? Yeah, they sleep during the daytime, but they come out during the night. Anyways, let me put this black stained glass down. This is just so if you look through the telescopes, it won't hurt your eyes. Look how bright it is out there. Oh, Louie, it is pretty bright out there. But anyways, Pip, that is my entire base. Look, how about we go back down to the bottom and we rate each other's bases out of 10. All right, we are here with JJ and Mikey. And it seems like we have to now make a decision, Pip. Well, this decision is pretty easy in my opinion, Louie. All right, well, what do you think? You know what? I think my base was better after all. It's amazing looking. What about you, Pip? Well, Louie, your base did have some cool decorations. A cool pool. But it had so much coke. That is disgusting. And that's why I think my base is way better. Oh, we just can't solve this conflict. We built this coke bottle and this Pepsi can, and we still can't decide. So how about this, Pip? Let's let comments decide whose base was better. Oh, Louie, I'm going to see so many Pip comments. No, I'm going to see so many Louie comments. Guys, if you thought my base was insane, subscribe to the channel. And if you thought Pip's was better, then like the video. Remember, guys, make sure to comment. Pip's face is a 10 out of 10. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's, Let's go! go!